day one to day sold, Mustang we show you everything at Mustang Medic. We work on, buy, sell, restore, and most of all, love your Mustang. MustangMedic.com delivers gorgeous women once again. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. McCormick's auction is in Palm Springs. Enjoy, guys. Here's a multiple part series of an auction in Palm Springs, California. Life is good. Life is good. It has no warranty. As no war as is no warranty. As is no warranty in all these cars. Oh. All right. So we're rumbling. We're rumbling forward. So viewers, go. remember to check your Mustang every day. Check, check your, viewers, check your Mustang every day. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, you're, you were so smart I had to imitate you. What? <laughs> That's a compliment. Yeah, okay. Look at this chrome Mustang here. That's, that's a yeah. That's a cougar. Mm -hmm. that's a nice. Hi. There's a cougar. No, no, I'm talking about the car, not you, of course. I, <laughs> I, I okay, good. Woo. Because everybody's about that. Does it? You've been hearing it. All? Uh, I thought it was an original. Well, that was kind of funny. That was funny, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I had a Cobra. Oh. It, it wasn't a Shelby Cobra. It was a, it was like a '95 Cobra Ford it was a Mustang Cobra. Oh, well, these gum pieces aren't half bad. They're not half bad? That's no. good. Now this is a uh, GT350. Snakes. Isn't it cool? Remember, if you want a Mustang as your love, just always check on it. Words of wisdom from a, from a nine-year-old boy. For Mustangs. Yeah. All right. It should be rolling through soon. Everything's beautiful in this car. It is because of the history. Yeah. All right, we're lined up with Betty right now. Check it out. Betty's checking the uh, card, They're looking at all the numbers. Huh? Open the keys or open the trunk. Okay. All right, so we're gonna bring, about to bring her in, and all the people are milling around. This is Will's first experience with an auction block at nine years old. Great humor. You know? That's a funny question, actually. I hear static. Okay. So, I think, so yeah, I think it's just off. I don't, that's uh, obviously an aftermarket radio. So, this was built back in the 1980s. All right, here we go. We're pulling him. Come on. You, can you see numbers flashing? Yes. Are you sure? I can see five, six, seven, going twice. Okay. Come on. All right. I'm about to pull in right now. I'm waiting for the signal. That show there. I see the people. See the people? Mm -hmm. So we sit here and basically wait for them to be able to go like this, and then we, we pull in. We're going to pull the keys out real fast because they want to open the trunk. There we go. You want to be careful, not hurt anybody. Here we go, pull in. This is a Shelby product here. This is a 68 model. Now, Aaron stands below us down here. This car is a good All right, we're in. Financing deal, you're going to miss probably one of the best deals of the whole weekend right here. How much? Listen, we have sold these two no story Shelby's and we've sold them for a hundred and fifty, a hundred and seventy. When there's no stories in their bulletproof cars, you can get the money. There's the no stories on this one, it's a real deal car. I'd like to open this wall at a hundred thousand dollars. Who we'll open up at one hundred thousand? One hundred thousand one hundred thousand one hundred thousand one hundred thousand dollars. I've got fifty thousand down here on the floor. Give me fifty-five thousand. Fifty one hundred and fifty five. There's no danger. Fifty five down. Fifty one fifty five from a sixty. I got fifty five right there. Sixty down from a sixty. Fifty five from a sixty down from a sixty. I got how much? Seventy five thousand right here. And let me say something. That is not the owner yet. Seventy five. 80, 80, 80, 75, 80. I got 75, 80. Give me 75, 5. 75, 75, 75, 75, 75. And it looks at 75, 75. Only one done. And that's it.
is the bargain of the day right now. I got 75 from a 75. I got 75 from a 75. 75 from a 75. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go. Well, guys, my first drive in a Shelby through an auction block sold for $75,000. So she sold for $75,000 restoration project but she's basically for the most part unmolested there is a little rust in the rear quarter panel that I ended up discovering and she did sell for $75,000 today so my first car my first Chevy I ever drove sold it <laughs> pretty cool all right guys these are the two people fulfilled my dreams today I drove a Cobra and a Shelby to, because of these two people thank you so much you're welcome anytime Will. So I just spoke to the owner, and out of respect, I, I didn't video him while I was talking to him. But I said, what are you going to do with it? Is it going to stay in the country? It is. It's going to stay in California, and he's going to basically keep it as it is. He's not going to do any restoration on it. He's just going to put it away, drive her occasionally, and keep her just as she is, unmolested. He said, it's an old car. He goes, I like it just the way it is. I don't want to touch it. And I was like, I got to respect that. Something you got to think about, guys, when you're buying these kind of cars, and they're, they're a 45-year-old car. Car, there's gonna always be something wrong with it. There are no, there are no. Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon.